a couple of weeks ago, just for the kicks, we posted a poll asking I saw a community who is better at anesthesiology, men or women anesthesiologists. The question was not inspired by any agenda, but just for the kicks, given the diversity and inclusivity era we live in. In retrospect, I wish we did not do this, as we clearly rubbed some folks wrong way. Now, don't get us wrong, our aim wasn't to fan the flames. Rather, in this age of embracing diversity, we were curious about perceptions. While professional bodies in anesthesia champion diversity, the poor reactions made one thing clear. Opinions are strong and divided. Some championed women as top-notch anesthesiologists, while others argued that men are more focused. A few even labeled women as temperamental and men sloppy and lazy. At the very least, the comments to our polls on LinkedIn and YouTube were reflective of the fact that there are some strong preferences on both sides of the coin. But here's where I stand, or rather where I would prefer not to stand. I echo the sentiment of Nelson. You couldn't get me to pick a side not even for a million bucks. Quick fun about Nysora, our backbone is majorly women. Of our 25 talented full-time professionals spanning from scientists to marketers to video pros, a whopping 70% are women. And just so it's crystal clear, we did not onboard this fabulous crew for their gender or degrees, but purely their unmatched ability and professionalism. So while I do agree that the gender should not have anything to do with the competence in anesthesiology, the polls indicate that there are still preferences. Back to the polls. LinkedIn was a tie, suggesting both genders are equally adept in anesthesiology. But YouTube is skewed in favor of the gents. Intriguing, especially since a recent landmark study showed female surgeons had slightly better patient outcome than their male counterparts. Peek deeper into the YouTube stats and you'll find an amusing pattern. Women rooted for their squad while the men rallied behind their peers. So the controversy over Paul sparked was undeniable, but it also reflects a bigger conversation as seen by the media attention to studies like that of Wallace and the team. The community is curious about competency and gender dynamics in anesthesiology as their results made it out to 66 media outlets in no time. We might have been a tad hasty with the poll, but it sure got everyone talking. And now when we are stuck with it, we need to provide some of our own feedback without sticking our neck too much. Is anesthesiology a good specialty choice for a woman? Being married to a brilliant anesthesiologist, I have my own thoughts. But today, we are turning the spotlight on someone special to give you an insider's stake. Meet my wife, Dr. Catherine van der Pieter. And joining her are some top-tier women, anesthesiologists, and dedicated operating room nurses. And if you find this video insightful, give the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the future videos. In this video, you will see these phenomenal women not just expertly handling complex patient management in the OR, but also seamlessly juggling their roles at homes. Multitasking like pros in the operating room and at home, it is an art and dedication that very few men can match. I might have my own convictions, but I will let these incredible women speak for themselves. Watch on and by the end of this video, you will have your answer. Anesthesiology, a demanding yet very rewarding field requiring precision, attention to detail, and technical prowess. But with its demands, many wonder if it is a suitable career path for women. Let's unpack this. Anesthesiology has seen a steady increase in the number of female practitioners. Many women are drawn to its unique challenges and the opportunity to make a difference in patients' lives in the operating room and beyond. However, like any profession, anesthesiology has its challenges. Long hours, on-call shifts, and the pressure of needing to make constantly life and death decisions in the operating room. So is anesthesiology a good profession for a woman? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I think uh, women are great at managing things. They, have, they are punctual. 
um, yeah, they uh, they can manage it well with a, maybe a dominant surgeon. Um, they their approach is a bit softer maybe than with male anesthesiologists, um, and that will make a, a good match sometimes. Uh, I think they can multitask well. They can switch on and off between work things, between uh, things at home. Uh, I think that way it's uh, yeah, it's a good profession for women. Who makes better anesthesiologists, men or women? Um, yeah, I would say women because I'm a woman. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Women across the globe are breaking barriers, proving that capability transcends gender. Anesthesiology with its challenges also provides flexibility, making it a popular choice for many women. But let's talk to some power of women in anesthesiology to find out if it's a good career choice for a woman. So it's a men's world, but uh, you can see there are many more women who are coming and who are doing anesthesia, which is a good thing, I think. I, should, I think there should be like an equal gender. Um, but I mean, I like it. I like it also, even though it's sometimes between the men and especially the male surgeons and orthopedics, they can be tough sometimes. Who's better as anesthesiologists, oh, men or women? Women. 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 Today, I'm thrilled to highlight an exceptional individual, my incredible wife, Catherine van der Pitte. The image captured here paints a vivid picture of her resilience and dedication, a characteristic of the anesthesiology profession. Her relentless dedication both to her career and our family is awe-inspiring. As an anesthesiologist, Catherine faces a plethora of challenges daily. She gracefully balances raising our three vibrant kids with her early morning gym workouts at 5.30, an hour-long commute, and extended hours in the operating room. Often in a lit apron throughout the day, she adeptly manages a myriad of vital monitors interpreting complex physiology data to administer anesthesia while safeguarding patients' health. Yet, her role does not end there. Catherine excels in multitasking, ensuring smooth patient transitions and deftly managing schedules. Simultaneously, she stands firm as a devoted patient advocate and intraoperative care specialist. And despite her professional demands, she's always available for our family handling the little crises that come with parenthood. Her workday typically concludes with an hour's journey home, often by 7 p.m. I often tell this joke that when Catherine went to visit her sister for a couple of weeks, she left me with three kids. And it's only then that I realized that for the last 10 years, behind my back, she has been taking care of my kids. This single snapshot evokes profound gratitude for her tireless efforts. Anesthesiology as a discipline provides a vibrant platform for women to showcase their skills, contribute meaningfully and positively influence patient care. While the profession demands dedication, technical prowess, and an undying commitment to patient safety, qualities that are not defined by gender. It does make one ponder, is anesthesiology the optimal career choice for women? Woman. Of course, women. Certainly men. And that was it. I think you have your answer. And thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video insightful, give it thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more discussions and never miss the future videos. Comment below with your thoughts and we'll see you in the next one.